Oh, hello, hello. Okay, so everything should be recording now. What a terrible thing. That may none of that have recorded. I don't know. Well, um, so just in case it didn't record, um, recap. Yeah, recap. Um, and actually, yeah, the um, the the this the heroes decided to fly to Russia on the explorer plane. The explorer plane exploded mid journey. The um, rune force, either by decision or by rune, the rune force itself, um, protected um, the the team from devastation. But uh, rune force is badly injured, and the team is trying to get him to safety right now. They have flown and run across the water. Um, Sand crab did skiing um, to uh, get to this rig that is on the outskirts, maybe 20 miles, 20 kilometers from France the shores of France, and the team is arriving now. Um, uh, and you all can put yourselves however you want to. This is uh, uh, standing crab with your perception, and now uh, um, the rocket you would see as well. Um, not very many people on the rig, uh, maybe five, ten folks. Some in offices or some workers around doing the thing. Uh, you would see a helicopter on the helipad. Um, you would see uh, barrels and things like that. This is an active oil rig. So we every time, I, hmm? every time I try to put rocket rocket on there somewhere, auto lift he falls all the way through. You need, I think you need to do auto lift. Well, he's fallen through a couple of times. Really? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. I think that's because your model is built the way it is. Um, I had that problem the other day. Uh, you have to lock it whenever you put it on something. Oh, yeah, because you, you don't have typical colliders on your model, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, it's worked before. Do you have another copy of the model of just him instead of uh, with all the running shadows behind it? Well, the, that was the one that was following through. There, he caught it. Yeah, so this has a mesh colliders around. I do have some box colliders that kind of outline the shape of everything, but yeah, it's got to have. Uh, that, you know, that's that may be what's causing it. Okay, so that's where we're going to land right here. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to put him somewhere. <laughs> right? Do you have another mini that you can bring in? Where do you go? That I no, got lost mini that doesn't have the multiple moving parts. No. Okay, somebody found him. Mm -hmm. Switch it to state two. That one seems to grab a little bit better. Really? I'm able to move that one. I'm going to see if I can get him up here, just like this. Oh. You mind if I try him back at state one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Embarrassingly, I've lost Liliana. <laughs> That's funny. And, and there he goes through. He spun along the um Yeah, everything on here is a collider though, even the ocean. So he's falling through every collider there is. Except for the table. Yeah. I don't know why. Um because like if I were to put Max on it, he stays on the No, Lena, don't do that. You don't have just an old version of Rocket? No. I, I think I do there. somewhere. Let me search. I, I think I have a safe table. I got it. I have it. I'll pull it. I got it. I got it. He's up here right next to Sandcraft. Hey, Liliana, do you need to yourself somehow? I'm not sure how to search for it. I could spawn a new one if I had to. It's okay. I, I just used your... The big version. I just lost him again. Because I sh switched him to state one. I think he's lost it. There he is. He's lost that loving feeling. There, I spot a new version. Oh, awesome. Did you get her up there? Okay, so um, I assume that you all are 
How are you doing it? Are you like climbing up the thing? Do you just jump together? Do you fly? Rocket, can you run up the side of this thing? And I guess once yes. Sand Crab gets to this, he can jump. Lily out and yeah. bring you. We'll just fly and land. Okay, so where's Liliana? Yeah. Oh, on this thing? So are you going to... Um, Liliana, you land up there, and there's a worker uh, who sees yep. you, uh, speaking in French. He is talking to you um, excitedly. Do you understand French? <laughs> I do not. So he's speaking and speaking, and he's, you know, trying to just, you know, gesture to you. Um, you obviously have... Uh, uh, so try Jamie. Try and respond in Italian. How about English? A lot of French speak English. Well, yeah. yeah he, uh, French and Italian are similar enough, maybe. Yeah, he's still not following you. Um, he's a, I mean, he's a, maybe just his heritage. He just really uh, doesn't know a bunch of other languages. You want to try English? Try English. This man needs help. Yeah, um, and Jamie will maybe step down onto the ground. Um, I'm going to get her. She wouldn't need to be carried anymore once you've got her there. If, if uh, Liliana has um, both Moonforce and uh, Jamie, then Sand Crab's going to leap over to where she is. Okay. I think Jamie is too big. Let me fix that. Okay. I'm not going to carry Runeforce's figurine around because he's... Um, um, well, we're a little too small. We need to get bigger. In size to the man, if you want to. Okay. Oh, I think Liliana is just too small. Um, so the man um, um, kind of understands English, um, but he's. Uh, what what exactly do you try to say, Liliana, in in English to him? And needs help. Um, he's. Uh, the the man is is trying to talk back to you uh, in in his like broken English, broken French, and uh, Jamie says, um, "What would she say?" She cusses, um, and then turns around to him and speaks in French to him. Okay, and she says basically repeats back what you've just said. You know, well, she says it in her own way, um, and they have like this side conversation. Um, and if anybody understands French, I'll explain it. If nobody understands French, then I won't say what they do. The two of them say to each other. Um, well, Jerry does, but Rocket doesn't. Yeah, no, Jason doesn't. So we won't. We won't, <laughs> we won't pretend. <laughs> so um, okay, they have a conversation. <laughs> um, and um, um, he, you know, Jamie comes back over to the group and explains um, that. Um, there's not suitable medical uh, facilities here, um, but um, you know he, the the man has offered that um, you know they could take the helicopter to town if we want to. Um, but Jamie has said that uh, she's not really certain how long Runeforce has. Um, so you know she she will even say um, his his thoughts. I I'm, I can't hear him speaking anymore. They have a, a psychic connection, and she says I can't. He's not talking to me. Uh, even in his unconscious trances, he talks to me. Um, and she will say, I somehow I can access his memories, but he's not speaking. All right. Well, Rocket, I think maybe we need to take him back to uh, to base to the auto dock. Um, I know you can make the trip, um, and we can just wait for you here and then continue up without them. Where's your Primus, Sand Crab, or, J or Little Rocket? Say again? How far to Primus, the, uh, the information that we were given before we left? Um, it might be closer, but... Uh... The the dock at Homestead is going to be probably the best choice for him. 
I can be there and back in a so that I can be there and back in a few seconds. Jamie would agree, and um, it, it, within the two seconds, three seconds that it takes, you know, you drop Rune Force back to the dock um, at the at Homestead, and you're back. Rune Force is um, now out of the storyline. And I think that he should probably take uh, um, Vazer. Jamie, uh, yeah, Vazer, back to to tend to him, and uh, that way she's not at risk here on on uh, without uh, Rune Force's protection. Uh, Jamie would ask to stay. She says, um, "I have a connection to him um, always, and um, if the moment he's good again, um, he will get me." Um, but she says, I think you will need me, um, um, especially in France. <laughs> All right. Very well. Yeah, since we don't speak the language. <laughs> so, uh, now that we're back together, we'll thank the, if you can thank the, uh, the worker for, uh, letting us borrow his area here, uh, we'll be off. We don't need to hang out here. Okay, so uh, what? How are you all going to go, and where are you going next? Right, um, I think you all have a general sense of where you are, and you're still trying to get to St. Petersburg, which you don't really have a mode of transport anymore. Um, Jamie certainly can't fly or anything like that. Rocco, how many people can you carry? Uh, I can carry two people without a problem. And Jamie will say, um, Liliana, if you if you're if you're willing, let's travel together and um, and then Sandcrab can make the Sandcrab can make the leap to our destination by traveling um, through a, a a wormhole. It's a nanite leap, but once we're there, we'll have to meet up again because he he won't know where you guys are going exactly. Uh, Jamie would suggest that we just, if, if at all possible, let's just travel together. Like even if yeah. it's slower. I mean, we don't have to. We don't have to go in an instant. Um, or is it to Saint Petersburg from here? Oh, it's probably fifteen hundred kilometers. That's a long flight. I've never, I've never flown that long. But I'm willing to try. Is it possible to get on land first and then maybe figure out what next? That's Jamie speaking. How far yeah. offshore are we? Like 10 or 15 kilometers, not far. Okay, let's just do that then. Yeah. Head to France first. Head to France. So um, I assume that. Um, so if that's the case, we, we might as well check out that base to see if it's still active because A, it's a resource, and B, it's a, a regrouping and, and rethinking what our strategy is going to be. Okay. We're about 1,500 miles from where we were trying to go. Yeah, the final, the St. Petersburg destination. But the sure. other, <clears throat> the safe house was in France, and sure. we're closer okay. there. So. Yep. Yep. Okay, so let's say um, that uh, I think Sand Crab can make a jump to the shores. Is that right? A non-combat 15 kilometers get to get to the shoreline, or do you all have to travel together to stay together somehow? Um, no, he can't leap that far with his regular movement. He would have to uh, jump through. Uh, um, he'd have to make a nanite leap, which is a mega scale. Okay. Um, leap where he actually um, his nanites open up a, 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 a wormhole and he leaps through the wormhole. It's basically a teleportation kind of it, effect. It, it's fine. Anyone who who would like a ride on the spirit taxi is welcome. Yeah, Jamie will. I, Jamie will I raise can bring hand. All yeah, of if, us. if that's if that's if she can ha carry everybody, that's fine. Then Santa Crab will stay with the group. But if it's not a possibility of group staying together and we have to travel separately, then he'll just leap and wait for them. I imagine that uh, that little rocket gets irritated that everyone's slower than him. 
<laughs> I'm kidding. Not really. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So I think Liliana's suggestion is a good one. Let's do it that way. We'll stay as a, we can stay as a group that way. Okay. Okay. Before you uh, leave, um, the the rig um, does your HUD link give the perception benefits, all the perception roll kind of add-ons that you have, or are you the only person that receives that? No, it does not give all the perceptions that I have. What it is, is it's a, it's images, mental images. So it, it's a, it's like a half phase action to share, to create images. So when you want to, when you want to share what you're, what you're seeing, it's an action to do that. Okay. It's so, not like a live feed or anything like that. Okay, cool. Um, then I mean, if, it, it can be a live feed, but it's a half phase action for the person who wants to, to give it. So then before you all leave, uh, as you're on your way out, will you just make a passive perception roll and tell me how much you make it by? Oh, I make it by 10. That's hilarious. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had it. Um, if minus 10 penalties to see um, that there are drones uh, in the sky. Far Looking off. For... Yeah, far off. All right. I will uh, let, Le let Liana know. I think we should head this direction to avoid them. So like basically make a, a path that's uh, counter to whatever direction they're heading. What is it we are avoiding? Uh, there are some drones searching for us. And I would probably suggest staying very close to the water surface. Um, and, and if that's the case, we could actually go underwater. Ooh. If it makes us less less detectable. Hey, somebody took my mini. Didn't mean to. I just put it. It's down. over here. I just put it down on the uh, ground over there while I bring job. up the next scene. So you all um, can you all travel? No, I guess um, not with the flight. Um, from from Liliana, but I guess you all stay close to the water, trying to get out of the way of those drones. And just uh, as you're getting close to the shoreline, does, does, does Jamie have a way of uh, breathing underwater, and Liliana have surviving underwater? Can they? Not a chance. Do they have contained breathing? No, no. And I didn't Rough bring the right swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and um, you don't see the eyebrow raise that happens on Rex Miller. <laughs> <laughs> so Jamie would tell you, um, uh, sand crab, I feel different. Uh, all right. He'll look at her and see if he sees anything different on her or in her. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, physiology may be changing. You see, you see like subatomic <laughs> stuff and even atoms and stuff. Yeah. You can see that there are changes happening inside of her. All right. I'll tell her that I think that the event with the explosion with uh, Rune Force may have affected you somehow. Tell us if you start feeling unwell. She said, "I, I will." She's very hesitant. I will. I will let you know. Um. Excuse me. Um. Maybe what you see inside her is like multiple sets of of like the the DNA that codes different you know creatures or whatever people whatever mm -hmm. like there's just multiple sets of things uh, intermingling um I won't spend a lot of time on that this that so you all get to the shoreline and maybe well, on... while we're traveling there just to be safe I'm going to put a tracker on everybody would they notice that or would you would you tell no, they, them that they would not no it's fully invisible they don't he doesn't tell them okay And technically, you have to make an attack roll if people don't want it, um, but I don't think you will fail it. Um, I can ask him first. You know, um, I'm gonna. I, I'll. Yeah, I know Liliana's gonna object. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um. Do you ask him, or do you make your attack rolls to to track him? I make the attack rolls. Okay. Uh, 
I mean, we're basically stationary. I don't think we're in combat, so I don't think it should be hard for him to hit. Well, still there, DCB. The, the only reason why I make it happen is because this is one of those just two overpower things, and there's got to be a way to defend against it, you know. I get it. Uh, yeah. Especially if people don't want it. It's a kind of a, a bad deal. So tell us who were the the, the roles in order. Because maybe that... Uh, Liliana, Rocket, and uh, Jerry. I mean, Jamie. So you don't hit Jamie. But you... Not, does a nine hit Liliana? And, uh, it does. An 11, I assume, hits Rocket. Or 12. Yeah, assuming. 12 does. Yeah. yeah, just. Just. An 11 would be... <laughs> of course, you're now, of course. Tracker. Oh, yeah. Does it go through her force field? It does. This one is not limited by force fields. Okay. It's weird. My... Oh, let me double check that, though. Yeah, and I assume you're going to try a second time to hit... I assume you're going to try a second time to... Hit Jamie. I don't know. You've missed the first time, but yeah, I would. Connor's attack roll. I try to disassemble. Power. Yeah, this one is not affected by force fields. It's not. It's mainly re reason is it's not reliant on the uh, um, the nanite swarm. Okay. Okay. So uh, you're tracking us all. No. Okay. Well, actually, DCV eight or less. No, you don't hit, and maybe that's interesting to you. Like you keep trying to track her, but something's happening with her physiology, and you're just not able to hit her. You're not able to get the tracker on her. All right. Well, second time. The nanite, the nanite is not sticking. <laughs> he'll just have to. He'll just have to give keep it. He'll just have to keep an eye on her. Okay. That's funny. You didn't roll well two times for her. That makes the story interesting. Okay, so you all come across like a, a railroad that goes into a small village as you all end onto the shoreline, um, and I'm and um, there's a kind of a village. This is the first just inhabited area that you all come across as you kind of land um, on on the on the shoreline. And you as you walk up to the village, I assume you're going to walk up to the village, but um, I think it'd be better to tunnel. Okay. And then um, we can look. I can look for the uh, safe house that way from underground. It'll be faster to spot. Yeah, and this isn't the town where the safe house is. This is just a town that you just come across. So. Oh, I see. Yeah. This is. Yeah, we want to. We plus we want to stay out of out of view of the drones. So I think being underground is the way to go. Okay. Uh, I hear the hesitations, Liliana, and and. Uh, no, no, it's rockets. Oh yes, he's claustrophobic. <laughs> Yes. E eager is it a really big hole? <laughs> it's a it's 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 man sized, you know. Oh gosh, it's terrifying. It's it's, it's not it's huge. Man, really I mean, it's as wide as sand crab is, so it could be up to you know three meters wide. Uh, Liliana, what did you say? Well, if it's man sized, it's huge compared to Rocket. <laughs> He's not that small. <laughs> That's awesome. I'll we'll show you man. I'll show you man sized. <clears throat> it's a threat or an invitation for a date? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> awesome. So, um, isn't that one and the same? Oh wow, the entendre, the devil. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, um, look at us in France. Yeah, I made it by three. <laughs> well, to be honest, none of you have seen probably her character sheet, but she does have. Um, the perk of, um, uh, gosh, what is it? Uh, striking appearance, 3D6. So, you know. Oh, okay. Is that in... We, we are form? enamored. Is that in current form or is that in uh, normal form? Or both? Uh, nope, only in character, only in uh, hero ID. Okay, so she's strikingly beautiful. Yes. Okay, that's funny. Like, it counterbalances the ruddy kind of... Even she's got like engine smudge on her face. Uh, Jamie does. <laughs> That's funny. Um. Okay, so you all are going underground into this town. Are you going to try to go above ground, or are you just going to try to pass mm -hmm. through? What, what are you going to do? Underground, unless unless Rocket has uh, can't make a Z roll. 
But I made it by three, so... Okay. So, underground it is, and we head through this little town going towards what we think is the location of the safe house. Okay, so... This is the strangest trip I've been on. <laughs> <laughs> Just a road trip. Well, at least it's not an acid trip. Uh, 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 uh. Um, I don't so... know. Rockets, rocket running around like that, maybe. <laughs> So you all would notice as you're underground, even I think just from your spatial awareness, there are uh, armed agents in this town um, and a stopped train. And there are some folks working on the train. This a maybe there's another man over at the farm with a vehicle. There's just it's a small town. There's probably like 30 people that live in this town. So these agents are. Uh, um, do we recognize their suiting or anything like that, or do they just look military? So you don't recognize their suiting. Um, Liliana, will you make a... Um, a can you maybe intelligence roll? You don't have any like editing well, memory. She, or she might not be able to see since she doesn't have the HUD link. And oh, I can't see her an true, image. True, true. So she wouldn't see it. Maybe if you describe it to her, but you wouldn't recognize oh, it. I can, um, I can use the hollow emitter and make a, uh, a computer screen and show her what uh, I what they look like. So does that hollow emitter um, negate your sound dampening when you do this? Like you're in a it, dampened sound it, field. I believe. Uh, Look at see. me knowing your character that well. That's all I, I know. know. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it does not. So inside, there is, there is another power that does get locked out by the sound by the sound emitter. Um, that would be the mental um, nanite. Okay. But you have sound dampening. That's what I mean. Like you all can't hear each other right now, or can you? If if I use the sound dampening, yes. But I mean, there's no reason to use it right now. I mean, we're underground. We can be pretty safely underground. Okay. So you show so them this. 20, Thirty feet underground. You're showing them maybe what one of these agents looks like. Yeah. Do you recognize these? Um, and Liliana, I guess that would be like a. I'm basically trying to see if you recall something that you saw on television maybe is that an intelligence role like memory yeah. well it's, if it's something you've seen on television then i should recognize it too well not it's a specific to her something that she saw gotcha yeah okay yeah so um lillian you recognize that these are um these are similarly dressed agents um that were at the um, execution. So they're destroyer agents or, or agents of the government. These are destroyers men. In town. So this is, I mean, this is a little podunk out in the country place and it's got agents in it. As we were traveling along, it is everywhere in France as uh, thickly monitored. So there's only two agents, right? One of them is like laying down, smoking a cigarette underneath a shed. And then this other one over here near the near the train line is like just looking at the train, maybe monitoring them as they make a repair. Mm -hmm. Right. This is like a country town farm area with a train track running through it. Mm -hmm. Not even, you know, paved roads somewhere out in the country. Mm -hmm. And it's got two basically police officers in it. This is, I, I find that a little unusual. Yeah. Does anybody have like maybe tactics or, um, and Sandcrab's character is really smart. Um, so I may not just give it, but I mean, it, it's a higher likelihood that these folks were aboard the train. All right. Is there, uh, he'll look in the train. Is there what, what's in the train? Yes, yeah, like munitions and supplies and stuff like that. Like military supplies. Military supplies. Okay, well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, the drones are looking for us, so we can't, you know, do anything about that. If we cause a scene here, we're just giving it away, and we have a primary objective, so I think we should continue on our way. Okay, everybody else in agreement there? Agreed. Liliana, we're, the we're, passion you have against these folks that are part of the execution, or how do you, how does a little bit yeah. feel about that? She doesn't see them all as the problem. Okay. It's 
the bigger team that's the problem. However, she will say, you know, perhaps a sinkhole opens up under the train tracks. I don't know anyone who could do something like that. Do you, Sandcrab? I mean, Sandcrab can tunnel. However, do we want to expose ourselves when there are drones after us within a few clicks? Well, that's why I simply said it. You know, sinkholes, they're, you know, they, they happen in nature. How about but if we travel if a little you... further down away from this area and we can just sabotage the tracks? That would cause a, I yeah. mean, that would cause the train to at least be delayed and, and disturbed. Um, but, you know, we don't know who's going to be on that train. It could be normals, and we don't want to, you know, injure or harm them. If we open a sinkhole, uh, the, the regular military, people could be injured. The military weapons at least show that this is not a train of peace. You want to disrupt some supply lines? It, this is this is uh, your call. It's, uh, the, the timeline's on you. If this is what you would like to have us spend our, you, our efforts on. Could, I would gladly do that. If you could disrupt it without us being detected, I'm all for it. If it gives away our position, then this is just a distraction. In Sankar's opinion, it would give away our our position, but um, it's it could be done uh, at risk. Whatever we do, let's get. I I I, I, I want to get out of this hole. <laughs> That's awesome. Another conversation underground. <laughs> Jerry, Little Rocket's like shaking. <laughs> That's great. So, what do y'all do? You're moving on, or you're gonna do the sequel? Well, I think we're gonna move on, especially considering Jerry's uh, claustrophobia. Okay. Um, Unless so Liliana insists. If she insists no, and it those, gets, gets upset, those, then we'll 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 do as she bids. Those men are not the men specifically responsible. It is their agency. Okay. Hmm. Uh, so while you all are underground um, and moving, um, Sand Crab continues to notice physiology changes of um, of um, Jamie, and um, it's getting it's growing it's growing it's growing. And then maybe at one second you look over, and she doesn't look like herself anymore. Hmm. What does she look like? I've changed her token. Uh, I don't know if y'all are able to see it over there. Wonder if Jerry has this like metaphysical desire to get away from her, from what Jamie looks like now. Oh yikes! Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing much of a difference. Uh, do you see um, over here? Oh, are you being like facetious? Like you don't? See, she looks just the same to her. <laughs> yeah, I, I looked at her at the start, and that's what I thought she looked like. She had the red things going around her head. No, 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 no. I've changed her token now. Um, are you able to over see here. Right over here in front of your I'm area? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at her figure. Not the big figure, the little figure next year. Yeah, the little figure. Yeah. Did did it not change? Do you see where the see where the arrows are? Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking at. And what do you see? That's interesting. I, I, think... I, see, I see a woman in a in a jacket with a black shirt. Can you red hair? With... Interesting. So you're getting some kind of lag, or it's just not loading because it actually looks like a little skinny alien with a big head, and it's all gray. Uh, yeah. We can take a screenshot and post it in uh, the discussion. Really curious. I wasn't trying to take so much time away from it. I thought it was just be a funny joke. That's what she looks like now. All right. I'll uh, say, Jamie, how are you feeling? She says, uh, I don't feel well. She fades. She... I think you might. She fades. <laughs> She phases back. <laughs> she phases back to her. Like no, she didn't faint. She faint. She phases back to her normal self. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. So y'all continue moving on the line. Um, I assume that y'all are going to stay underground the whole time until you get I to like a major city, or unless there's a reason that to to not be. Yes. Unless there's objections. So maybe. Um, so it's going to take a little bit of time for you to do all this. Uh, maybe make three or four. Um, make four ego rolls to represent this trip um, 
little rocket. It's, it, it is not at little rocket speed. This is this is much slower. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm, let's just see. Safer if but slower. Ooh, that one was close. Okay, one more. I'm I'm oh. still seeing oh. the red hair. I've, red hair. But girl. it's I changed. It's track. back to that. She's back to normal now. Sorry. <laughs> what you see, you think you see. I'll try to change her again and see if you can see it, because that's a weird. Do you see her as an alien now? Thing has changed. It has? Nothing. Nope. So same. Huh. I'm going to change her big character, Sue. See if that over here. Do you see yep. it? Yep. Yes, I do. I can see from across the board that it changed. Huh. <laughs> okay. So that's what she had looked like uh, for the moment. I, yeah. I saw the screenshot in the okay. Discord. I wonder why the other one wasn't working. Okay. So you all make it. Um, um, Jared, do you want to like talk about what you were experiencing that whole time? This is part of your role play. Um, <sighs> uh, yeah, it, it's he was pacing quite a bit, <laughs> probably almost running around the the circumference of the uh, tunnel while. Sand crab was digging it and um, just really very nervous, even for for you know, anybody that's seen him before. You know, he's kind of laid back. A I mean, a little uh, frenetic when he's in combat, but other than that, he's usually not, and he, he's very. We're losing your connection. Very, very nervous. Anybody oh, else okay. having, having connection? I'm, lost. I'm not having a connection. You still problem, hear me? I am hearing that he's breaking up a little bit. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Oh, okay. Maybe uh, okay. Too slow. Um, now it's better. I, I moved the mic and that around a little bit. Um, he just... It's a different type of frenetic. Now, uh, um, now he's he's... His hands are clenching and 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 probably sparks and uh, so he's while he's visibly, trying not to visibly uh, uh, having a little panic attack and he's having to control it. Yes. Okay. And at one point he almost didn't. <laughs> maybe, I mean, maybe it got it got real bad maybe. about a quarter of the way in. Maybe one of the teams or the team kind of like helps coax you back. Or like puts a hand on you or something like something like that. Trying to they try to put a hand on you. I don't know if you're moving slowly enough for them to do that. Yeah, thank you. Um, share every once in a while. You can share uh, his the through the HUD link uh, a vision of where they are, so he can have some connection to the outside to help him feel a little less panicky. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> if he closes his other eye and just just <laughs> is Liliana able to do anything to try to help? Um, Little rocket through this moment of crisis. All she has is acting charm, persuasion, and conversation. She can persuasion is speak, great. She can speak to him and and try to be calm. That'd be cool. You want to try to do a little bit of conversation, persuasion roles. See if you can strike up a good conversation. I mean, he hasn't failed a role yet, but oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's true. It's not necessary. Okay, so yeah. you all uh, are tunneling up. And you're getting close to the the town, the location where um, a safe house was located. Mm -hmm. mm. You're not going to be able to tunnel through. Uh, I mean, oh, maybe you could. I guess you could. Are you going to like try to just burst into the side of the say safe house, or are you going to come up above ground? Or um, uh, you have, well, you have... it, it depends on you know what's around it. I mean, if it's all, I don't want to damage anything that we can't repair. So. If if it's required for us to come above ground, you know, uh, half a kilometer away where there's some dirt, uh, if it's all in the city, you know, that's what we'll do. Or if there's a sewer line that we can come into and then climb out of the sewer, we could do that. Um, but it all really depends on what the surrounding is. Yeah. So if I come through the street, there's going to be a big pothole. It'll draw attention and might give away the location. I don't want to do that. 
Perhaps we could find a field that's nowhere that near. That would be perfect. Sewers. But before we Never do come, place you want to be, especially in France. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so before we do come ab- ab- above ground, uh, Sankara will extend his awareness to, to check to see if in the sky there's any drones. Mm. Yeah, there are not. Okay, then it looks like we're safe. We'll mm. find a good place to surface and and come up. Uh, is it is it daytime or nighttime? Yeah, it's, it's nighttime now. Um, the kind of the amount of time it took you all to navigate through all that. Um, it's a long journey, long road okay. trip. Um, Good. Then um, he'll he'll find a place where it's, it's secluded, where our obviously unique forms aren't going to cause a big commotion. Okay. So you all bust out in a kind of an open field, um, wide open field, and y'all are above ground. And Jerry breathes a sigh of relief. Um, y'all are yes. close <laughs> to the to the town, um, and I'm not going to pronounce it right. So when when Peter hears me, he may laugh. The French town Lacanau. Um, it's inside, so it's basically not the co- not the shoreline town, but it's it's you know farther in. That's where you all are at now. It's like a medium sized town, you know. Which, which town did you say it was? Uh, Lacanau. L a c a n a u. Thank you. Lacanau. Yeah. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Liliana has area knowledge Europe, but you know it's not specific to France. Okay. So you are in France, and this is kind of getting close to the geolocation where um, the, 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 the safe house is in that town, right? Um, maybe it's on like a side street of a town. Um, it's above ground. It's like a flat, right? It's not some underground hidden deep base. It's a, it's a safe house. It's a regular safe house. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, right. regular, I don't know if you call it that. I mean, right? it's like a regular house. Yeah, it's in like a, it's like a, a building it's above ground. It's in a... It's in a so is it in is it is it a is it a single structure or is it a duplex or is it a part of an apartment complex? Yeah, I'll bring up the screen for you a second. I'll need my mouse to work. Okay, so don't laugh at don't laugh at my cars. I didn't build this myself. I stole it. But it's like these buildings over here where these are you know the safe house is this red uh, building here. Gotcha. Yeah. So it is definitely in town. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess there's probably an alleyway that we can sneak up to this building mm-hmm. from behind. And we're not on the street level. We can go through the alleyways. Yep. yep. All right. So can we just put our minis there in the alleyways? That's right. That's right. Uh, does everybody have any stealth um, or ways to avoid being seen just by normal people? Yes. Rocket actually has stealth. Liliana, do you have any ways to be stealthy? Um, not without some help. You know, her, her only skill is disguise. But that's uh, mostly uh, makeup. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not, y'all did... Make my freaking ego rolls, but I've... <laughs> Your stealth roll? Yeah, so... Yeah. Like you, oh, uh... wait, no, I didn't. Because I've got a plus two to stealth. Because of the size. So... I made it by one. Okay. So um, you all are going to kind of try to make your way through. The Liliana is just um, maybe walking down the street or what? Or like, obviously, you're not going to make bad decisions, but uh, you're also not make, you're not quiet. Um, These trash cans are small. We got to shrink our characters. Yes, yeah, she does. She does stand out a little bit. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, those are really small little ash cans, maybe, not trash cans. I don't even know what we're oh, talking yeah. about here. <laughs> oh, Scale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't even know. I don't even see them. I think that they did. You know, if, if Sandcrab didn't stand out with his bright yellow suit, you know, Liliana would offer to um, go normal so that she doesn't stand out. But Sandcrab's bright and yellow with extra arms, so really kind of the lesser. Yeah, you know, that might be a great idea, actually, go to normal identity. Um, Y'all did that mm-hmm. out in the field, maybe? Yeah, that would yeah. be the way to go. And R- Little Rocket, um, you're staying in secret? No, I'll, I can go to the other. But do you have stealth at that, or no? Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a standard... It's a, a skill. Yeah, stealth so it's is not stealth. Yeah. 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 
Okay. So and he's a midget, so, so that's you, why the plus two. <laughs> so maybe some other people notice um, the the two uh, normals that are walking around, kind of going down an alleyway, but obviously they don't see Jerry. Um, well, now we do, if we're going to go normal identity, I think the plan change. We don't have to go down normal. I mean, down the alleyway, we can walk down this curb and just go to the front door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you all, um, I guess you all do that. You're normal. You go up to the front door. It's there is one in the side of the alley. There's one on this other side of the building too over here. And oh, uh, well, there's, there's an alleyway exit. Yeah. Okay. That's mm -hmm. fine. Yeah. So uh, maybe I'll go to the front. Um, it's locked. Um, and um, there is. Um, Does there... anyone here have knowledge, skills, celebrities, movies, or anything like that? Uh, you mean other than you? I no. Do not. <laughs> I'm kind of a computer guy. Um, but as far as entering the building, I could probably use my streetwise to figure out a what the best tactic would be to not be seen. Well, I was. If if we're back in normal form, the question is: Does anyone recognize her? And I bet neither one of them, none of them do. Oh, well, good. I invited, you know, the two uh, introverts who <laughs> don't watch movies. That's right. <laughs> uh, let me check uh, Jamie, too, and just see. High society, no. even? No, she's not high society. She I have, is, bu uh, I have bureaucratics. Yeah. Which... I don't think that would do it. Okay. Um, so one of the things you would notice is uh, Jamie just falls through the the map. Why is that, Jamie? What's wrong with you? Is everybody else falling through the map, or is just just Jamie? I see her invisible. I, actually, is she there above go, the map now? I got, I got, I got. Um, she is in her normal form, and um, she can't stop. This energy, this stuff coming out of her face. Oh. And she was, well, yeah. That's not good. Hustle her to the <laughs> to the alleyway as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, and yeah, maybe some people are starting to look over too. Like, no, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she's kind of hiding in the alleyway, realizing. And y'all would have noticed this before walking in, um, but it's something she has very little control over. Right. And maybe safe you house. Are, yeah. So um, y'all are at the side of the safe house. It's got, um, you know, like when you go to the apartments that have buttons to press to be able to go up and call on a person. Yeah, it's, I use the code key, Tanner. Yeah, but there isn't a code key. Um, there isn't a uh, like a digit pad. It's only... The num the only the buttons they're numbered like for one two three four five six seven eight nine right, mm -hmm. but that's all there is. There's not a you know there's not like a, a phone booth style digits to press. It's just those floor digits or floor buttons. They're numbered. All right. Well, Jamie, you speak French. <laughs> Press one and uh, see if we can gain entrance. And and uh, I mean, she, she overheard the information about the safe house too. So hopefully, we can get gain access. The door won't open. There's the scene from Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit that you know we just need to speak friend to enter. <laughs> she she just presses one and nothing happens. I mean. And she says, you just want me to um, press all the buttons, or? Well, uh, um, could this actually be the code keypad? You don't need to remember to get the secret code or your code number. No, St. Crab has it. He, they gave him the code. I'll, I'll punch, punch it in. in. Okay, so you punch it on the le on the levels, just in the order. And, um, right. yeah, the, uh, the, the, you hear the door click. Push, Push it, it open. open. Yeah. yeah, you're able to get inside. <laughs> once you do, you all walk inside. Yeah. 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 Okay. So once you once you're inside, um, uh, the door um, automatically closes behind you. Not like abruptly, but it just kind of. Zzz, 
you know, that kind of, it, it clicks behind you. Um, and some lights turn on. Um, and when you look around, um, you know, there is the very striking feeling. There's dust everywhere. It's dark. It, this, no one's been in this building for a long time. Hmm. I'll uh, use my uh, hollow emitter to um, project, like, uh, some some light, some, just so we can see. Yeah. It's sort of a gray light. Okay. Can you actually go into the building? Is it open where you can do that? Oh, it is. How yeah. cool. Yeah. So you all are able to get inside the building, um, and it's like a loft area. Um, and there are a couple of floors, um, and you can take the elevators to different floors. Do you want to explore a little bit? Well, yeah, we're in we uh, kind of safe house. Yeah, Santa Crab will change back to his uh, hero form. Okay, so um, and he's gonna look at Jamie and ask her. Um, you are emitting some type of energy and have uh, changed forms uh, a couple times, and he'll show her a recording of what's going on with her. Um, and she will, her eyes will be big, and she'll say, I know I'm changing, I don't understand. Um, there, there's so much knowledge, so much information, I can't, I can't explain it right now. I can't explain it. He'll uh, dust off a couch or uncover a couch for her to be able to sit down. Yes, yeah, so she does. Um, this is a kind of a safe place for you all, um, like to to think without being in in the kind of the view, you know, floundering in the water on a rig in a town. Like this has been like totally not the journey you all planned, and so now things have gone sideways. Uh, but you are in a pause moment. What? What what do you do right now? And I and I, it is kind of an intentional, not hopelessness, but like a oh crap. Um, and Liliana, right. Liliana particularly, right? You came with a particular focus, and it's all gone to pot. What's what's yeah. Liliana doing right now? I'm in Russia, and we're stuck in France. Right. She's we trying are, to figure I mean, out how far it is. Having, to say, having Rocket for... run run. Uh, um, Jamie back to a base is probably not a good option since the drones are tracking and they're probably tra trying to track him um, or at least us. But well, him traveling, it's not invisible. Uh, he's going to be a bolt that could be picked up by radar or sonar or something. Um, so I think maybe leaving her here while she goes through this change so that we can finish our mission might be the choice even though it kind of cuts off our ability to communicate, but it really depends on how she's feeling and if she thinks she can go, but we we need to regroup and replan. I don't think leaving someone here who's not feeling well and is going through something unknown is the right thing to do. You know, it, once once Little Rocket gets up to speed, if he can be, can be to Homestead in a second and a half, you know, it, they're not going to track that quickly. They might be able to track where we're starting from. That's about it. But obviously, this is, this is up to Jamie. I'm sorry, Phaser. Yeah, so um, she's just going to have her head in her hands, and she's just trying to figure out what's going on. Like, um, this energy is pulsing through her. You all, I mean, uh, Sandcrab, you clearly know there are more forms. Um, Liliana, obviously you were, you were talking about the kind of dejection of not being able to be in Russia yet. Um, what, what's your, what are you thinking right now? Well, uh, obviously I understand stuff happens. Um, you know, we have, uh, we have two dire situations. One, um, we don't know what's going on. That would be St. Petersburg. Uh, two, we do know something strange is going on that I think we need to at least be human about and, well, at least as human as she is, and um, <laughs> trying to help her. And, you know, if she's unable to make a decision for herself, uh, we need to help and do what's in the best interest of her. Okay. And she just says, I, I, th I think I just need a minute. 
I just need a minute. Um, so she's just she's just gonna judging, sit there and think. judging by the dust we have somewhere between a minute and eight years. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, little rocket, what do you what are you thinking? What's uh, what's little rocket after right now? Food. He's hungry. Do you even have food on you here, or you have to go get some? Well, that's what I was going to do. Was quickly look around. Is there canned goods or anything like that? If he um, food, if I not. Can... I can look for it. If he says, hey, I'm hungry mentally to me, I can look to see if this place has a refrigerator or some dry goods or cabinet or anything like that. He can probably run around the thing as fast as <laughs> you, you can yeah, check it. So that's cool. Um, so you all would see it. Um, Sand Crab would see it. Little Rocket, if you kind of jet around, even and Liliana, I don't know if you're going to go up and down some of the floors that are here. There's a, there are some stairs. and There are uh, computers here. Um, I, gotta, I do have to say, safe houses in the movies are much more interesting than this. Oh, yeah. This is <laughs> <laughs> I was going for the exterior only. I didn't realize it had an interior. That's funny. This is the equivalent of, uh, of uh, <laughs> Wonder Woman's invisible... Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not judging the, the model. I'm talking in oh, general. You know, oh. <laughs> it's dusty, it's abandoned, you know. Oh, okay, okay. That's funny. I was like... I. I didn't even build this. <laughs> um, if, you've ever, if you've ever been to Milwaukee, there's actually a, a restaurant there called The Safe House. It huh. is a spy-themed restaurant where you actually go into like a small little cabinet with a phone booth at the front, and you have to pick up the phone and tell them you're looking for a safe house to be let in. Oh, that's wow. Cool. Cool. <laughs> that's cool. <coughs> so you all see computers. Um, there's even like a laboratory here. Interesting. Um, there oh. is a um, there is an area with um, with kind of like not MREs but like freeze dried stuff and I guess it is MREs but yeah I mean it's got it's got things that if, you there, if there's a laboratory I, I'd like to check it out just because you know that's uh, Sand Crab's gig and uh, oh yeah also it might be useful in analyzing what's going on with Jamie okay so. Um, I'll get, let's each of you all like choose a thing that you're going to investigate around here. Um, Little Rocket, are you just straight going for the food? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's going to take some of the MREs and, and try to uh, uh, combine them and make them taste a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. So you, as for you, everyone. as you walk toward the stuff, lights come on, right? So it's very much sensing you're here. Um, but it's not having any arm or any, you know, you can see that there are even like not cameras, but like sensors on the walls. They uh -huh. sense when you walk, the lights turn on, uh, doors open to you. The building is not hostile to you. Uh, you find the food. We what punched you? the code, so we're good. Yeah, yeah, you're in. So you're in, you've got food. Maybe you even find a little kitchen. Um, and you're already like cooking for folks. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so it'll take a few minutes uh, for you to. Well, maybe not even a few minutes, but well, I know you can't make heat faster, so you could. Do yeah, it faster, no, but I can't. The stove is still slow. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Liliana, um, you're. Are you gonna like? Are you gonna walk around, look look up, do look for things, or what, what, what's Liliana gonna do? She's not a scientist. She's not a cook. She's just going to check out all the rooms. She does appreciate all of Europe's history. Obviously, we're in an older building in, in France. Mm -hmm. She's going to at least uh, look about the uh, the upper floor. She's going to leave the kitchen and science area to them. But um, if Sand Crab does require assistance, she will um, she will come down and help. Yeah. So as you're going up the floors, um, you would notice it's got like offices. Um... It's weird. Like, obviously, Safe House wouldn't have that, but this has some office space above it. Um, if architecture is beautiful. It is definitely a repurposed historical building. Um, everything is to the T. Um, I hope it's not like those movies where someone goes into a structure that's been abandoned for so long and it just falls apart and destroys around them. That's, <laughs> no. I never liked that trope. <laughs> We're not doing that. No, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Um, so um, you go into one of these offices, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to rummage around, see what's, you know, 
what's here? This is, I mean, this is a safe house. It's, it's kind of cool to her, but at the same time, it's a little bit of a letdown so far. Yeah, of course. That is nothing more to it uh, than just what it is to say false. So you go into this office, um, and um, there is a computer at the table. Um, there is uh, like a little conference table. It's maybe set up to where there were meetings here. You can see that it's kind of arranged in that way, like a professional office. Paperwork, business names. Yeah, actually, a um, um, couple of you know pieces of paper um, you can tell that um, there's not a lot um, left out but a couple of things uh, like meeting agendas um, and stuff like that very nothing that indicates anything you know if anything the meeting agenda dates are from uh, eight years ago Interesting that it's an office. Above it, yeah, of course. Okay. Just uh, snoop around, you know, not uh, touch too much because, well, it's not her place. Cool. Obviously, no one's been here. Uh, okay, so I'll come back. Um, Sand Crab, you're looking into the laboratory. Um, and Correct. Um, lights come on as you move in. Um, you know, even devices that would be kind of powered down, power up. You see, like, laboratory arms come up and stuff like that. That lab is active, but it's you can still see dust and stuff, um, even as, as clean as they tried to keep it. Um, I, I assume you're kind of you're doing going around just trying to looking to see what was happening in the laboratory. Um, yeah, I want to make myself familiar with the tools that are here. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there's a computer, um, he'll probably uh check it um he'll probably use his uh, uh hollow emitter to create some type of inter interface for his from his holographic lab to whatever tools are here so that he has a better chance of uh, um, gaining access okay yeah so a couple of things that you would see um there is um um like a cabinet in this laboratory that um has initials on it um, it's a locked cabinet um not with just like a padlock but like a like a digital locking some type of mechanism but the initials on it are um four initials c y b l c y b l <laughs> all right um It's a pretty does, he, sturdy... does that spark anything with his indetic memory to anybody else's initials that he knows? Ooh, I'll make an intelligence roll. Um, obviously, you'll succeed at it, I guess, right? Um, maybe. Yeah, just a flat intelligence roll. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, putting together the two and two, you're in a uh, Primus Doomsday safe house and the letters c y b l cyber cyber line is the thing that um that uh, kind of links between your and primus okay does that mean mean something to you all as players not in character oh. I'll refresh our memory I haven't really read the Primus stuff in a long time. Okay. Um, Primus is, um, Cyberline is the genetic drug that created the uh, gold and, and silver Avengers. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's the foundation of their supers program. This is their doomsday location, so it's kind of like the reset potential, you know? Gotcha. So, like, if, if this is where they would they would meet if something terrible like the disappearance of the uh, vanishing happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they just never got to get here. Okay. All right. So I'll check to see what uh, emergency protocols maybe I can find on the on their computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, make your computer rolls. Yeah. So. Um, 
there are lots of different protocols. Um, you know, it's like there are some check protocols that are going to, like, it looks like they're designed to take inventory of remaining assets. Um, there is a, um, a locator uh, protocol that will attempt to locate any existing uh, agents. Um, there are contact protocols. Um, you know, there's, it's, it's basically meant to um, search, identify, reestablish connection, um, even protocols to kind of assemble, to, to um, pull everybody back together kind of stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Um, what does uh, what does Sandcrab find as far as uh, security so that it the, this 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 safe house doesn't get uh, flagged if it decides to connect to the outer world? Oh, um, I mean there are cloaking protocols and things like that for the physical building, but um, you know as far as um, anything close to what like the darker web has um it just wasn't built during a time when the connection that it makes used to be secure right the, it is a secure connection but it's all that now is is uh, commandeered by destroyer so outdated so yeah it's very much outdated and you would know that right oh, it's tr it yeah. was secure but not now not all those keys so, are in the public keep he's going to keep his usage of the computers offline then just here local. Okay. Do you tell any of that to, um, yeah, to the I'll group? let people know not to use the computers to do any searches online or even the, use... even the protocols that you found. Um, yeah, I would, I would share that information with uh, everybody else. Yep. So here. locating assets, locating agents and, um, um, uh, initiating kind of, uh, gathering you know that whatever assets and agents are available it will try to bring them back if there are any even which uh, that's um, not it doesn't make the system vulnerable doing that oh yeah you would believe it certainly would yeah yeah it, then i'm not going to do that those those are just protocols yeah, that, that were there i mean that, that's all okay part of me wants to say delete those protocols because if destroyer gets a hold of this I see but, your point. It could but be, another could be part of me, another it's trap. like, yeah, and then another part of me is going, uh, well, maybe we can find some other help. <laughs> but right, well, I could, yeah. I could re uh, record record it and then wipe these uh, these machines of that information. We could always use it ourselves. Yeah, that I, and I'm sure. Uh, our Silver Avenger would love to have that. Hello. Yeah, Jamie's transformed again. That size? Yes, that size. No, that's freakish. Luckily, I'm upstairs in the lab, so I don't see that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Luckily, um, no, but uh, <laughs> luckily we're in a loft with tall ceilings too. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, anything? Any equipment here that I can use? to analyze this this Sandcrab has the powers of the biology power uh skill that he can use sciences uh to try to look at this but i i mean biology isn't uh, although he's skilled in it um it would let him know what's going on but i don't know about manipulating or helping her um yeah, in, in the seconds that you're considering how to help, she transforms back to herself. And and she's, you can tell, like, she's pulling in her hands and the energy squirrels and things that are coming out, they're getting smaller. They're still happening, but they're just right in front of her eyes now. Mm -hmm. So it's much smaller. She says, um, I'm getting a handle on it. Okay, well, that's good. Because you're freaking me out. Is there anything I can do to help you, let me know. She says, just, just to be here for you. Just be patient. There's so much mm. happening. Um, Anything you can describe to us? She describes um, just like the equivalent of drinking from a fire hose of knowledge and of 
of memories flooding in from a different galaxy and different time and everything. She's just overwhelmed with knowledge and memories and she says and maybe even there are there are uh, wait so you've concer- confirmed life in another galaxy at, at least at some point in time in in my in history hmm. she's she says this is eons ago but um, and if you have a conversation with her about it she will tell you of a place called soul and a, and a planet called Octocalia and that's destroyed now. She basically recounts the history of of what that solar system was and all the knowledge and things like that. She's she's holding it together and kind of getting a grip on what's happening to her. She calls herself the vessel. Um, hold on a second. Let me make sure I'm recounting it properly. Yeah, the vessel. Um, she speaks a word in a different, weird, foreign, not even earthly language. And she says that you should call me this now instead of the ignorant name Phaser. Call me Lysen. All right. Um, that doesn't sound right. Lysen, are you are you still able to uh, feel uh, Rune Force's presence? Yes. Um, he's not speaking, but I, I I sense his presence still. He's still with okay. us. Are you a superior life form? Um, she speaks very Taoist. Uh, there is no greater, no lesser. I am, I am uh, only an, a vessel of of forms and memories long ago. Um, and she cycles through them. Now she's getting it together, right? So at once she cycles to the form of a maybe a, 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 a kind of an alien, but kind of female form. Um, then she cycles into her giant form. She even, this in this form, her voice thunders. She calls herself a warrior, a Khazar warrior. Um, then she cycles again into the small kind of diminutive form. Um, and speak, you know, you would hear it in your mind. Um, the I am the representative of all Throm, um, and then she cycles again in a very kind of like crustacean, um, and she's the representative of Wellian civilization on on Octocalia, and then she cycles back. So you can she's now at this point, the squiggles are still there, but they're contained, and she says, "I'll be okay now. I understand what I am." Yeah, and what is that? She says, I now carry the rune force, but we understood it improperly. These are not runes. These are, these are the knowledge of the Octocolian civilization. Um, and we are containers of it until uh, the soul, uh, the star soul rebirths. And once it rebirths, the knowledge contained in me will return to Octocolia for that civilization to be reborn. Until right. then, until then I am the vessel. And Whoa. you and Runeforce are both going to be okay? She says Runeforce no longer carries the the uh, the energy of soul. Portions of them have been transformed surely. He's still regenerating. We're still, you know, connected. And she answers, "I. This has never happened before in the history of Octocalia, so I don't know how to speak. What will become of him? But he's alive. Oh, that is a good thing. <laughs> uh, it's very odd and interesting, and." Uh, I'm, uh... He will keep on recording uh, and putting to memory the events that happen in case they need to be gone over in the future. Okay. Um, Jamie turns to Liliana and apologizes and says, I'm so sorry that this has happened in the moment where you are in such great need. 
And she says, I, I promise you from this point forward, you will have my support. Um, as much as I can control it, we will, we will find your father. We will find a way to make sure he is safe. You gave us all quite the scare. And the language you chose to use concerns me, but if you're in control, then you're in control. She says, I think yeah. I am. Yep. You know, you, you said the ignorant name of Phaser. I, you know, in movies, you know, that's where things turn go sour. Someone's possessed and <laughs> their old form is, you know, ignorant and <laughs> beneath them. She says, no, I chose that name in ignorance. Um, and she will oh. even explain, I, we, we called me Phaser because... We f the the rune force wasn't fully in phase with me. It, um, she, I think, Sandcrab and, and Little Rocket would have known that um, she um, would get sick at times because of the rune force and the way it was mixing with her body. And so, just that being out of phase, they just called her Phaser. It was just a kind of a whatever name, you know. Um, and she never really participated because she, her power set was always out of phase, right? She really wasn't. Sometimes she tried to do some things that didn't work. Sometimes they, she did, and it did work. She had activation rolls that were really bad. So, yeah, Let me ask this question. Is your transformation what was responsible for the problem on the explore plane? No. no. Yeah, she. Ah, oh, that's funny. Sand crab and, and Jamie say no at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you know what? What did happen? Were we? We were targeted by a, 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 a some type of a explosive explosive device, probably air to air, or maybe sat, uh, satellite to air. And she says that you know, and and whatever that source was, the rune force departed from Aaron to protect us. Um, the rune force is embedded in the plane. And she says if we can find the plane, it it will self heal. Um, but in the middle of the ocean, right? But we can find the plane if we can. But she says that yeah. was, a, that was I, I know I know about where we landed, so well I know okay. we almost can, exactly we can work where on we gathering landed. the parts uh, Yeah later. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She says Hopefully my they're they're still there. She says my promise to you now though, Liliana, is to make sure we finish this mission that was started. She says it may also be helpful, but I speak Russian. Yeah, okay. Well, I, yeah. Oh, you do as well? I, I do. Awesome. Well, that'll be good. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't uh, speak much other than geek and English. <laughs> we are, however, at least five countries away from Russia. She asks... What's the? How do we know even the building to go find your father? He's in a place somewhere. How do? Ortiz okay. gave me a location, uh, a small village just outside of Saint Petersburg, that uh, he believes where the flight destination took them. Okay. I, I have that information, but um, getting to that area, you know, in, in Europe, I would travel by train. But you know, um, we're not exactly dressed for the train. <laughs> so I think um, as we wrap up the the maybe offline chats, we can talk about how we get to this location now that the whole plane is gone. And is it is it just as simple as jumps with with um, sand crab or, or running with the rocket? But it's you know, still 1,500 kilometers away from France, uh, St. Petersburg. Uh, yeah, Sand Crab can't take anybody through the wormhole, so he can only south that way. Okay. Um, but Rocket could definitely get everybody else there quickly. But the question is, how visible would that be? Yeah, and he doesn't have invisible power effects. So, I mean, this is very flash-like. No. Yeah. You know, you see a blur of movement wherever he goes, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, we can go back to the tunneling version of of our of our trek if this if that's needed. 
How long does it take you to tunnel? <laughs> it's slow, dude. It, it, it's slow. It'll probably take us a day to get there. Maybe but, longer. But I Bunny mean, never made it to Albuquerque. I don't think we can get from here to St. Petersburg. <laughs> Maybe I made a wrong turn. Yeah. No, it, it is not fast. I don't even... Let me check here. Hold on. Somebody can give me the uh, the miles per hour on this. Um, Non-combat would be 40 meters. So it's slow. Huh. I think 40 meters is something like 80 miles an hour or 45 mm -hmm. miles an hour or something like that. It's not very it, fast. It depends on your sp speed. Yeah, even at my speed 6. I don't think it's very fast. Yeah, so we've got kind of a dilemma on how to get there now. Tunneling, tunneling is is uh, an expensive power for a movement. Yeah, um, and I don't have it. I don't have a second slot to buy it as a as mega scale. Nor did I think it was appropriate for the for it to be mega scale. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's you can't tunnel that fast without just ripping through the earth, I guess. But uh, right. Okay. Well, let's uh, um, go ahead. I was going to say, we're in a safe house. Uh, can we recreate? <laughs> I mean, Rocket probably didn't think about bringing his uh, uh, visa. <laughs> <laughs> or not visa, but his uh, um, passport. Uh, so we're going to need to do something. Yeah, that's, a, that's a great thought. A safe you know, house. Um, we probably do need those kind of things. Does anybody have skills appropriate for that? I have bureaucratics, but I don't think that would give us the ability to create identity IDs. Uh, what kind of skill yeah. would that be? That would be forgery, and yeah. unfortunately, no, I don't have that. But is there equipment here that would enable us to create that kind of? That's weapon? what I'm thinking. We're in a safe house. There should be yeah. something here to to do that. Yeah, and I think you can just kind of assume in the safe house that there are the resources for you to kind of rebuild um, <laughs> and reestablish, right? That, and maybe very similar to what we do with the base in, in Homestead, uh, unless it's just an inordinate cost. Let's assume that it's available to you here. Um, and then we can role play what we do uh, in, in one of the chat threads, maybe chat five or something like that, or wherever we ended the last chat for this, this series. But um, I've got to run for the, for the day, but uh this is a. Uh, hope y'all. It's obviously didn't get you to St. Petersburg or the actual, you know, connection. But I, I thought it might be enjoyable to have a little um, sideways road trip. Figure out your way. Yeah. You're lost. You're in the water. You're in the countryside. Like, put you out of your normal. Uh, yeah, it was. It was definitely interesting, and uh, it seems like uh, a little bit of a, a character retirement at the same time. Oh, for uh, for Reinforce, yeah, it's uh, it'll be who knows what'll happen with him, but uh, oh, and 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 the introduction of a new character for you, yeah, yeah, which I think is cool. Um, I appreciate you all allowing that to be. I know Liliana, this is kind of your storyline, but I needed to needed to have that transition happen. Um, and um, Jamie is a four hundred point character, right? She's not a six hundred point character. Well, now she's got experience points and stuff, but much more enjoyable to play. It could be worse. It, we could uh, follow the same path they did in Euro Trip, and <laughs> we'll just gotta watch out for the Italian men on the train. Miscusi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to worry about the Italian men on the train. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe you have to worry too. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I'm gonna snap a, a a photograph of our little photogram of this group if I can somehow. Oh, but I still see the everyone gets their hands out of there. I can I can do one. Yeah, I can somehow do oh, it. Interesting. What's that? I hit uh, Windows and Alt, and it switches to like an overhead view. I'm just going to do a P, first person. 
No, no, not working, not working. I got one though. Okay, I'll paste it in. Yeah, thank you. Because I can't get in the building now that I'm in first person. <laughs> cool. All right. Um, we'll pick this storyline up, and it doesn't have to be a Saturday again, and we can choose a different day. Um, but let me stop the recording, and um, the team is in France. Stop.